Hurry, guys! They got us under the control! They got us under control! Pull the parachute! Pull the parachute! Oh, God! Ah! 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 I think I'm winning. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a video of Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> this is not like something I usually do, but yes, this is Kerbal Space Program. I think I mentioned it once before. It is a uh, simulator of spaceness, and you get to go into space with your beautiful spaceships. This is a spaceship I built. It's, it's actually not very good. It doesn't really make much progress, but uh, it gets you into orbit, so that's good. No, no, it doesn't really get you to the moon or anything, but <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful morning here at the Kerbal Space Program Center of Space, and, <laughs> and we have our one astronaut here, Jebediah, and his beautiful hand. That is a really big hand. Ignition! <laughs> Lift off! Yay! Oh goodness. Okay, yeah, so this isn't like any other spaceship you'd usually see, IRL, because um, there's rockets all over the sides and this is very unstable. <laughs> So only four rockets go off at a time, and then they slowly take off, like all the rockets slowly go away as they burn the fuel, and 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 then simply, um, it keeps on getting smaller and smaller until you're down to one fuel tank, and then it transitions to liquid fuel as opposed to solid fuel, which I'm using right now. Okay, we're about to run out of this. Hey, okay, there's much less gravity up here, so I don't really need to control the RCS and keep it in place. I just need to keep the SAS on. Look at all that debris falling. Er, goodness. And in a perfect flight, this will be able to get you up to about, uh, 50... No, not 50, that's far too big. About 5,000 meters per second. Okay, yeah, that's usually the quickest speed I can get to. Right now we're about 2,000 2, meters per second, so... Yeah, so here we are. Exiting. Space. Oh, that beautiful music. And here's when our apoapsis begins to really fly. Okay, so we have it at about here. Oh goodness, let's do this until the fuel burns out. There we go, it's all burned out. Okay, and... Whoop! Stage separation. Plop! <laughs> send that... Send that debris flying. Woo! <laughs> okay, so, um... Yeah, just because I usually cut videos, you, you may hear a bit of spastic music. Just because... I usually cut every now and then in videos to keep it under a 15 minute limit, so, yeah. For example, let's do a cut right now, blah. And now we're back, and you see how the music's a bit different? Yeah, that, that's gonna happen every now and then. Okay, yeah, so, um, now let's just, um, I don't know, I don't know. So, we're gonna wait until we get up to the apoapsis. Well, let's get ourselves all the way up to here. Oh my god! Um. <laughs> um, okay, um. Start up engines! Uh, we're a bit delayed. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I'm not good with this zooming thing. Oh, wait, I got this. I got this. Don't pressure me. Okay, there we go. So, that's the line. It's almost made it fully. Oh, they're going to connect. There's the lowest point in their orbit. Right there. We are now in orbit. So now we can just fly around. Whee! Oh, God, this isn't safe. Um, <laughs> so, the circle with the accident. That is where our descent will be. Just lock it on there, do a retro burn. Oh my god! Yeah, so, um... Maybe it wasn't the best idea to do this on the perioapsis. Okay, yeah, this wasn't the best idea, but let's YOLO it. <laughs> oh jeez, I don't think we're gonna make it. Nope, we're gonna make it. Nope, we're not gonna make it. Oh, we're gonna... We can do it! Oh my god, perioapsis changed! We can do it, we can do it, we can do it! Oh, did the engine just cut? Okay, let's see if that's close enough. Wait. Aww, uh, 238. No, we'll never make it in. <laughs> um, yeah, um, okay, this one we send message to our, um, fellow Kerbal Man. So, um, yeah, Jebediah, um, uh, news has it that, uh, this is going to be your new home up here in space. So, I, uh, uh, hope you enjoy your eternal vacation, and, um, have a nice ride. Okay, so Jebediah has returned from his, um, eternal vacation. I don't really know how you return from something that's eternal, but... But he did it! 
So um, here we are. I usually like to start us a bit off the ground so that we already have a bit of a height advantage. So we need to start up our engines. We don't use many solid fuel engines except for these three on the second level. <laughs> so yeah, we have, we have a lot of ladders just in case you want to like leave during the operation. That happens a lot. Okay, so we have it on full, turning on our SAS. Okay. Everything seems all fine, SAS on, okay. And liftoff. We have a very slow liftoff to start. But that is okay. That is fine. <laughs> Look at that giant smiley face on him. Oh goodness, we're out of fuel. Stage separation. <laughs> I came a bit late on that. Whoops. Okay, well we got solid fuel going. Wait, I sort of forgot how this... Oh god, I forgot how the rocket worked. I'm sorry! I'm new to this! Um... Abort! 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 God! Jesus! Okay, let us pretend that never happened, and now let's resume our flight. So there's our shadow. It's just slowly drifting up. Wait, what's happening? Oh my god, whoops! Whoops! Oh jeez, that... Dofferk? Um... Okay, this isn't gonna be good for fuel consumption. We used up quite a fair amount of fuel just cutting the engines and starting them back up again. <laughs> but that that's okay. We can still do this. Don't insult me. I got this. I got this. Okay, so here we are. We're about to do our first stage separation. We're getting really low on this fuel, and we're gonna drop it. Okay, let's wait until it's all out. Okay, it's all out. Dropping. Okay, now we're running off of these fuel. This fuel here. Oh, we got the moon up there. That's beautiful. Okay, we're out of fuel on the, so on the solids. Let's drop those. Woo! And now let's continue, and now our spacecraft is looking much more light. Okay, it's now in the hundreds, I'm gonna cut the engines. And now, we're gonna do something crazy. Because of how big the spacecraft is, the RCS is really hard to control, because it's like little tiny boosters moving this giant lump of metal. It's crazy. So let's lock it on right there, just like we did with the minute orbiter. Okay. Okay, that's beautiful. Now what we do is wait down until we get to the apoapsis. I'm gonna do a quick cut. See you then. Okay, our little circle is now approaching our maneuverer. And so that means we're getting pretty close to the apoapsis. And so, I'm going to start up our burn right now. There we go. Look at that expansion. Now, this spacecraft can get you to the moon, but it can't get you off it. So, Jebediah, it looks like you're going to have another eternal vacation. How do you feel about that? He still has a giant grin on his face. I think he likes- Oh my god! Keep on turning off the engines whenever I zoom in. Yeah, you know, I, I accidentally turn off the engines whenever I do that, so no more zooming in in Kerbal Space Program. Okay, got it? So I think I may have just doomed myself again. Okay, all we need to do is expand that before I hit the ground. <laughs> this is getting more dangerous than I need it to be. Let's lean upwards. Get a, get a bit more altitude here. Okay, we completed it. That's our apoapsis. And now since we're in the orbit, we're not going to stop burning. We're going to get ourselves an egg-shaped orbit. Okay, there we go, we're out of fuel on this. Oh man, I forgot. This system this system makes a lot of space junk, so... That is now space junk. That thing is going to be in an orbit like this. Okay, so... Sorry about putting... I'm sorry about polluting... Uh, I keep on polluting space, but whatever. I'm, I'm sorry, space. I just had to pollute it. It's for the sake of the video, okay? It's fine. Okay, so we're zipping through with our engining, with our special engine. <laughs> okay, we're, we're gonna get there in a matter of seconds. Everybody, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now let's cut it right there where it's a bit over the line. And now, this is where we play the waiting game. So the way that I do this is I expand us out to that line, and then we wait until the moon 
gets right there, right? It's a spaceship gets right there. It's a, it's a, it's a process that involves patience. Okay, welcome back, everybody. And to be honest, I have no idea what's happening. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm going to encounter the moon or not, but it says I'm going to, and then flashes back and says I'm not going to, and then says I'm going to, and then says I'm not going to. So let's see what actually happens. I honestly think I'm going to, I honestly think I'm going to encounter the moon. I mean, look at this. That's the moon, and it's probably going to meet up right as we do. This might be a collision course. I'm not sure. But either way, it's a course. That's what I know. <laughs> they wait until we pass that line and we get into the orange section, which means that we're within the moon's gravity. Okay, we're within, we're within the gravity. And, okay, we are on a collision course. Okay. Uh, that's all the better. It actually speeds up the process, because the way that I do this is now we change our orientation so that we go to a retro burn. And what happens here is now this is going to reach all the way over here. And then once that becomes a full orbit, it's going to look like what it looked like when we took off from Kerbin. It's going to be a little bit of an... it's going to be like an oval with half a side inside of the planet. And so what that means is that we can slowly descend until we land upon them. Okay, so now we wait up until about here. Let's wait until the moon comes into our field of view. Pretty risky because we're getting a lot of speed. Oh, slow down! Oh, Jesus. Okay, so now we need to quickly burn. So now we're flying at the moon really quickly. <laughs> and this right here up here can show us our speed. This is how quickly we're moving. So, um, paying attention up here, we're moving at about... Oh, right, I forgot that turns off my engines. But yeah, we're, we're moving at about, um, I would say a thousand meters per second towards the moon on a collision course. And so another way to tell is once our apoapsis gets back down to here and we're on the apoapsis, that means that we completely lost speed and then we'll start moving up again. We don't want that. We want to keep going downward to get at a safe pace. This is going to be difficult. And now what we do is we, again, wait until we get closer. Okay, we are getting really close. I'm going to start the burn again. We can already see the surface, and that always sort of worries me when I can see the texture and I'm moving this quickly. So let's see, we're moving at about, oh goodness, a couple hundred meters per second. Oh god, I'm not feeling the most confident in this, but I have faith. Okay. Our apoapsis is coming down quick enough. Our apoapsis might save us on this one. But it's gonna have to move quicker. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I think we'll be saved. I think we'll be saved just in time. Oh, goodness. But if it doesn't, I have a plan. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting a bit worried. But don't worry, we can do this. We're close to the moon. Oh, goodness, am I, am I gonna have to... Oh, god. I think we're gonna have to project. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, project! <laughs> what the heck? What are those things? <laughs> I love how the music just abruptly stops as soon as you die. Um, uh, don't worry, um, Jebediah was only, um, he was only injured. <laughs> He'll be saved from the moon soon enough. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look, look at that sun up there in the distance. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, I think that mission was successful. Woo! <laughs> I, I don't know why that was successful, but let's pretend it was. Okay, okay, let's pretend. Alright, so that was Kerbal Space Program. And so... We didn't really make it to the moon like this little guy in the title screen, but, um, you know, if we did make it to the moon, I'm sure, well, yeah, we'd have a crash landing like this. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I am going to leave. Okay, bye.